And so the little Smurfs saved the village from the dragon, and they all lived Smurfily ever after. The end. I'm sorry, Sasset, but I really must get back to my work. Aww. Someday you'll learn to read this yourself. Oh, but I like the way you read it. <laughs> you run along and play now, Sasset, and perhaps I'll have time to read it again later. Gee, thanks, Pappy Smurf. Gather around, every Smurf. I, Brainy Smurf, am having a book sale. In order space for my newest edition of quotations from Brainy Smurf, I'm practically giving away these older ones. In fact, I am giving them away. All right, who'll be my first customer? Uh, I think my Smurfberry pies are burning. Uh, this hot sun is going to wilt my rutabagas. Uh, not to mention my flowers. Oh, yeah, I got to get out of here. See you later. Sasset, wait. I can't bear to see you miss the opportunity to have a volume of your very own. I don't even know how to read. Uh, you don't know how to read? That means the vast intellectual arena of quotations from Brainy Smurf is beyond the reach of your impoverished mind. What? Mind the store, clumsy. Oh, uh, sure thing, Brainy. Leave it to Professor Brainy Smurf. I'll have you reading in no time. Now pay attention, Sasset. A is for answer. Brainy Smurf always has the answer. B is for best. Brainy Smurf is the best. C is for clever. Brainy Smurf is awfully clever. And last but not least, Z is for zebra. Brainy Smurf has never ridden a zebra. Sasset, <laughs> are you paying attention? Smurf said we could go down to the swimming hole. Wanna come? Splash and sparrows, do I ever? Just a moment. I will not allow you to distract Sasset from her quest into the lofty realms of education. Oh, golly! Papa Smurf, I think there's something wrong with Baby. Oh, what seems to be the trouble? <sighs> Great Smurfs, I've never seen a rash like that. <laughs> Here. Put Baby to bed while I try to find a cure in my books. Yes, Papa Smurf. Now, let me see. Every quote from Brainy Smurf is like a shining g germ. What? That's gem, not germ. Uh, Brainy, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, don't tell me, Clumsy. Did some Smurf finally want one of my books? Well, uh, it wasn't exactly a Smurf. <laughs> Puppy run off with it. Oh, no. If I don't find that volume, its pearls of wisdom will be lost forever. Wait, what about me? Until I get back, read, read, read. Searched through every one of my books, but I can't find a cure for baby's illness. Perhaps Omnibus knows of a cure. Pappy Smurf! Pappy Smurf! Yes, I said. I've tried. I've really tried, Pappy Smurf. But learning to read is just too hard. I know it can be difficult, I said. But if you keep trying, someday you'll find it was worth the effort. You see, the answer to almost any problem can be found in books. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must hurry to Homnibuses. <sighs> oh, now what do I do? Hmm, Pappy said the answer to almost any problem can be found in books. Maybe I can find the answer to my problem in his books. Oh, this isn't any better. These books only have dumb old spills in them. Except this book. It's blank. <gasps>
And now, to add my secret ingredient that will make these cream puffs the most mouth-watering of all time. Huh? I did it, Clumsy! These precious words were nearly lost, but the forces of greatness went out against impossible odds. <gasps> my book! Uh, gosh, Brainy, I guess the odds were more impossible than you thought. The formula you need to cure baby is in this book, Papa Smurf. Thank you, Hunnibus. Now I must return to the village as quickly as possible. Great Smurfs! <gasps> <gasps> My books! They're all gone! Including the one you just gave me! Who could have done such a thing? Harmony, that sounds awful! I know. Without my music books, I haven't been able to practice. I'm sorry, Farmer. Without my repair manual, I can't figure out how to fix the mill. But, Andy, without the mill, we can't grind flour. And without flour, we won't have bread to eat. I know, I know. I've just got to get my book back. Smurf meal mush again. Yeah, I'm about to lose my appetite. Oh, I'm sorry, Smurflings, but without my cookbooks, it's the only thing I remember how to make. Yuck. Well, Mr. Frog, at least you don't need books. <sighs> but I know 102 Smurfs who do. Slobber and swordfish. <laughs> I miss my storybook more than anything. Asa said. Come on, Happy Smurf's back. Happy Smurf? But I don't want it. This village is gonna fall apart if I can't have my repair manuals. Every Smurf will refuse to eat if I serve any more Smurf meal mush. Yeah. <laughs> and how is Baby? I hate how Baby is. It's just as I feared. Those yellow blotches are getting worse. Can't she help Baby, Pat? Without Hamnibus's book, there's nothing I can do, says Ed. We gotta do something. A life without books is too horrible to contemplate. Hmm. There's just one chance. If I go to the Well of Knowledge, perhaps I can persuade it to restore books to the world. Oh, Pappy Smurf, this is all my fault. What do you mean, says Ed? I'm the one who made the books disappear. You? <gasps> Supposed to be fun, not work. But Papa Smurf, what could possibly be more fun than reading quotations from Brainy Smurf? <sighs> Sessa, I want you to come with me. Perhaps you can help convince the whale to return the books. Oh, well of knowledge. Without books, the world is a sadder and a poorer place. In your wisdom, please return the gift of books to the world. Books are indeed a most rare and valuable treasure. But I can only restore them if the one who called them from the world gives me something of a great value in return. Oh, I'd give anything to get those books back, really. You can have my hairbrush, or my raggedy smurf doll, or even my froggy. No, young Smurfling, I need something of greater value than those. But I don't have anything else. And if you don't give us back our books, Brady will never be able to cook right, and Handy won't be able to fix things, and poor Baby won't get well. Oh, please, Mr. Well, you gotta give us our books back. <laughs> you just gotta. <laughs> Nothing has greater value than a tear that truly comes from the heart. Thanks, Smurfness. The spell is broken. Now you can cure baby Smurf. Oh, gee, thanks, Mr. Well. You're the Smurfiest. Come along, Sasset. There's not a moment to lose. A dash of cinnamon and a touch of ginger root. I just hope this works. Now, there's 
Here's the baby I like to see. A twist to the left, then two sharp turns to the right. There, that should do it. Yay! Oh, thank me, thank my repair manual. Some Smurfs are born great, but Brainy Smurf had greatness thrust upon him. Skip right up every Smurf and try my Smurf-tacular cream puffs. Oh, oh boy, Harry! Yeah. Hey! Mmm! These were worth waiting for, Greedy. Phew! What a day! Can I hear my favorite story again? Please, Baby Smurf, you promised! Yeah! We want to hear it, too. Please? <sighs> Very well. Oh, boy! Once upon a time, there lived a fierce dragon who stalked the forest. <gasps> no one in the Smurf village was safe. Then one day, 